We were wandering around Golden Gate Park the other day and we came across a situation where some bright purple flowers were along the walkway and I realized that would be one of those situations where the digital cameras really wouldn't render that purple too well. In fact, it would render it as a cyan blue. So we decided to come back and do a little video shoot here that allowed you to see both the flowers and the rendering of the flowers on the video screen. And uh, of course we'll have to edit the video to show you the uh, flowers being the purple that they are because both the video camera and the image you see on the iPhone are both going through this imposition of blue failing of the digital camera to see it quite right. So it really does help to keep an eye on the colors that were there and not just how they're rendered. We were sufficiently uh, impressed with the color difference between what the lower end digital camera was recording with the bluish cast of these purple flowers. I decided to bring back my more uh, serious 35mm SLR, my Canon 1DS Mark III, and give that a try. So I'm going to take a quick shot of uh, the flowers with that same composition, and instead of the cyanish blue, we get a much more representative purplish blue. Maybe not completely color accurate, but not bad. So when I've got a difficult color issue, the additional thing I usually do is I make a photograph of my Macbeth color checker in the same lighting condition as my photograph so I can then use that as a special starting point for the raw processing and customize the raw processing using the Macbeth chart, the color checker passport software, and uh, using that as a starting point for the raw processing so we get the uh, color language correctly. A simple way of using a set of known colors like you find in the color checker passport might be to just anticipate using the gray and white that are on the color checker card to get the basic color balance approximately correct in a raw processor like Adobe Camera Raw. So here I am in Bridge looking at the file that I want to balance and the color checker photograph. I'll double click on both which will open them in Camera Raw, make the color checker photograph my front image, and then by holding on the shift key highlight the other image as well. Then by using the white balance tool simply go to the white or light gray patch in this case I'm going to use the white and clicking on that patch to make that a spectrally neutral interpretation of the known spectrally neutral original card. That then locks in that color balance to the um, raw file that I intended to process trying to get the color as accurate as possible. When the colors of a particular image might prove challenging, or do indeed prove challenging, it can be very useful to use the Macbeth Color Checker Passport and Passport software to create a brand new starting point for the interpretation of the image. The way you do that is you take a picture of the gray uh, the color checker passport that you have uh, photographed in the light that you want to work from and open that file the software will then look for the color patches tell you if in fact it's found them show you that it has and then allow you to create a profile based on its uh, reading of how those colors were recorded by the camera and give you the ability to create a custom profile of your camera, of your lens, in that lighting condition. And so I'll leave it for the basic name of the camera, in this case the Canon EOS 1DS Mark III, but I will add to it um, Golden Gate Park Flowers in this case, so that I can understand later that that's where the source image came from. It will go ahead and create that custom starting point within uh, Camera Raw or Lightroom and allow you to use that as a source for interpreting the image. And this of course could be done on the DNG we used to create the Macbeth color checker image or on the original, in this case, CR2 file and the photograph that it came from. I can now just click on that Macbeth color checker and uh, add the uh, 
photograph of the color checker with the flower. And then if I go over to uh, camera calibration within camera raw, I now have a brand new starting point that I can choose to use based on this custom color profile that the color checker passport uh, created. And I can use that in addition to actually doing a white balance on the white as well, which gives me, in theory, the best possible combination of options to make the interpretation of the photograph correct under difficult color situations. And I believe that's what I have here.